So, ladies and gentlemen, this is House Party. House Party is an edgy comedy adventure game inspired by classic comedies of the 90s. Every decision changes your story and even character has something to reveal. There's also a button to take your pants off, apparently. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a description of House Party. This is going to be a spicy game. Um, before we jump into this, thank you so much for the subscription there. Really appreciate that, Overlord. I have to say, if you are not into these edgy comedies, very, uh, it's gonna get graphic. Uh, if you have kids in the room, this might not be appropriate. This might not be appropriate. This will be a very inappropriate game as we take a look at House Party, because House Party is going to be releasing full release here very, very soon. I want to say something real quick. This video is sponsored. Yes, this is a sponsored video by Catapult. So thank you, Catapult, for sponsoring this video as we look into House Party. If you want to pick up House Party for yourself, if you like what you saw here and you're like, you know what, I have to go and get 55 achievements out of this game on Steam, then you can go ahead and click the link down in the description below and get yourself started there. Uh, with that being said, it's going to get a little, little spicy. So please, forewarning, like I said, um, just take it with a grain of salt. We're here just to have a good time, I guess, in a way. Um, so I've never played this game. I don't know what it's all about. There is a male person that you can play as. Um, coming soon, I think in full release, is a female version. So that's going to be something. More description of this game. I will leave in the Discord of my Discord. So you can go in and join the Discord down in the description below also about other things that I might be doing with House Party in the future. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be taking a look at this game of, I don't even know, dude, I really don't know. But here we go. I'm a male and let's start this out. So first time playing the original story, you've got some choices to make. Oh, okay. Uh, you can change these later by pressing escape to open up the in-game menu. Show tutorials, yeah, I would like that. Um, censor nudity, uh, probably for, <laughs> for YouTube. Yeah, for YouTube, oh my God, yeah. Uh, sensor nudity, yeah. Uh, DLC, not installed. I don't have any of the DLC. It is what it is. Start the game. Let's go. Let's go. Just send me. Hit the like button if you guys want to like, maybe see more of this in the future. I don't know. This is this is this is going to be a very different kind of game to the channel. But I think it could be funny. <laughs> I don't know. I think we can have a good time. Maybe we can just laugh at it together. I don't know. Oh God. All right. Cat licks. Yeah. I'm subscribed. Yeah? Derek. Yo! There's a house party going down tonight, and you're coming. Oh, I guess, all right, I don't have a choice. Location. Derek's location. On, oh, okay. Let's go. Get up. Get, you're done watching cat licks. Grab the keys to the car. Yeah, absolutely. I think that was a 97 Honda Civic. So then, my ex-wife, she comes walking me, and she yells at me like she is. Never mind, there was Ubers back in the 90s? <laughs> All right, here we are. I have a Tinder for dogs? What is going on? Oh, and don't forget to rate me five stars. Don't forget to rate me five stars? Sir, what are you talking about? <laughs> How, you dropped your phone? Are you? <sighs> of course, you shatter your iPhone. Even though we're in the freaking 90s, right? Aren't we like, is it inspired by 90s? I guess we're not in the 90s. Maybe it's just inspired by the 90s. I guess like, I should have really paid attention to what I read off in the beginning now, shouldn't I? All right, so talk to Derek, opportunity discovered. So welcome to House Party. I'm a narration window. If you see me again, it's because I'm delivering another tutorial or telling you about some really, really important in-game-ish. That's about to go down. So pay attention to me, damn it. But when you're done with me, you can left-click default to close. Okay, right. Um, moving along, basic House Party controls move around. I'm pretty familiar, I think. Uh, left shift to sprint. C key will make you crouch. Press the space key to enter combat mode. I, okay, whoa, hang on, is that combat mode? If you want to check your inventory, you press I, okay? Um, press O for hints or M, oh no, for the opportunity and memories window. Okay, this is a lot. This is a lot to remember. You just got to dance or take some clothes off. Use the E key. Uh, tab key can be used to hide or unhide some parts of the UI. 
Like the crosshair, okay. Okay, time to get out there and be somebody. Just don't forget there are other somebodies here as well. Various actions and dialogues can affect the relationships you have with other party goers and their behavior. Sometimes in a good way, other times less good. Try not to get caught doing less good things or be a dick and see what that see where that gets you. Anyway, consider your actions carefully and have fun. Oh my god. There's a party at Madison's place tonight and you've been invited by your buddy Derek. Is that where we're at? Sure, he's the only person you know, but being new and down, uh, this seems like a good opportunity to mingle with some people. Stick around a bit and see what kind of fun times or fun there is to be had, or perhaps what kind of trouble and debauchery, debauchery you can get into. The choice is yours, but first, go check in with Derek. Good luck. Okay. All right, here we go. Wow. Wow, here we are. This is... Yeah, this is... this. We're in it, dude. This is it. We're in the shits. <laughs> we walk in. We don't know anybody. All we know is Derek. This is not a house. This is not even Derek's house. You tired? Or that your roommate died? Okay, time out. Time out. I call time out. I say, um, please hit me with the gameplay settings. Show chatter subtitles. Absolutely. Font bangers. You're already on a good, uh, good track with me here. Okay, that. Okay, 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 okay. One thing at a time. The, the the actual di the dialogue is actually really small let's increase that please thank you considered a sign of all right let's talk to Derek excuse me Derek um I would like to okay so trying to interact with another human ish being uh well you did it nice job very well with the ra ra radial radial uh, you can inspect the other person to get a bit more info about them give them an item from your inventory or talk to them to try and start a dialogue Nay. Dialogue nay, a rapport? Ah, I see. Uh, from time to time. Depending on what content you're pursuing, there must there may also be special interactions to discover. That's why all Okay, the uh, Bra let's inspect Derek. Action going on. This guy stop talking. That Derek that's make it incredibly hard to mingle. Yeah, it's I'm, only a matter of time okay, until okay. Ouch! Oh! God! Oh, what just happened? My toe. Hey, listen. I was trying to inspect my man Derek here, but apparently somebody just stubbed their toe on the couch. Hey, listen, someone's talking. This no, you think? This is a dialogue. You'll be seeing these often. On the left, you can see your social meters. Okay, so acquaintances right above my forehead, not interested in me. She's obviously sober. That's probably why she's not interested in me. These represent a character's feelings of friendship and romance towards you. These are important as they will often decide how helpful another character will be or how hostile and how romantically interested they are towards you. Lastly, you can also see how drunk they are. That will come in handy as we all know that no server person can stand you. You guys are probably drinking just watching this video. That was supposed to be motivating. Was it motivating? At the bottom of the center of the screen, you'll see one or more responses. Choose one of these to further the conversation, end a conversation, or just listen in on what's going on. Many of these will be content or context sensitive. So if you don't see something helpful, keep trying new things and come back to the character later on. Last thing, once I'm out of your face, you can hold the right mouse button uh, to move the camera while the dialogue and screen. But you can't walk, run, crouch, or take other actions. Okay, I, I feel it. Come, it's always the worst freaking pain in the world. Oh, it hurts like Dickens. Excuse me, it hurts like Dickens. Um, I'll keep listening. What is your name, young lady? Oh, Amy, I totally feel you. That's the worst. You know, a good way to get over a stub toe is to take any basic painkiller and crush them up into a fine powder. No, 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 no. Mix that with any horse tranquilizer you may have laying around, then oh. snort that powder through a rolled up bill, but make sure it's larger than a 20. After that, you won't remember the pain. Order good. the rest in the night. This chick is actually crazy. <laughs> um, uh, don't listen to her. Um, thanks, Stephanie. I'll do just that. Later. I think that was sarcasm. I can't tell. She sounds like... I don't know. We're, we're talking about a stub foot. Nobody lost a limb here. Well, Amy, maybe you should look for friends elsewhere. Oh, oh, so th this must be Amy. This must be Amy. Uh, finish. Once I get some booze in me, there's no stopping me. Yeah, I bet. I, I bet. I bet. Oh, D Derek, Derek, Derek. I need to talk to you. Good man. Hey. Glad you could make it. Yeah, thank Just you. A fair bit of warning. Great. My friends are a little, should I say, eccentric. They're cool, though. Make yourself at home and introduce yourself around. I, I absolutely will, Derek. Um, I, I'm a little insulted you didn't tell me this before I came here, before I took an Uber. The guy insulted me on the way out of his car. He said, give me a five star or I'll knock your ass out. 
it didn't really go like that, but that's how it felt. Thanks for inviting me to the party, Derek. Thanks for coming, buddy. I'm really glad you came. Thank it's you. It's been a rough week. I was looking forward to hanging with you. Yeah, rough freak. Are you are you doing all right here, Derek? Are you okay? We're good friends, right? Yeah, we're good friends. Is everything okay, man? Ah, uh, it's not worth getting into right now. Okay. Let's just relax and enjoy ourselves. Fair enough. Fair enough. Sounds good, buddy. Let's get it going. So, hmm, somebody must have the scoop as to what's going on with Derek. Maybe I should ask around. All right, let's figure out what Derek's problem is. Stephanie, I'm actually terrified of you. But I feel like I have to talk to you. You scared the hell out of me, and I've I've just literally like listened in. <laughs> What's going on here on the TV? Right. Okay. Hello. Uh, let's inspect her. Stephanie is a spaz, but she's kind of cute. Look at her go. I guess if I were to take a wild guess, like after the conversation and suggestions that she made to uh, Amy on the ground. I guarantee she has no underwear under the under that dress. So <laughs> hey, let's go in and talk. Like, what's up? Uh, yeah, what's going on? Um, nice to meet you, Stephanie. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> OMG, I like love this song. This song is not a banger, actually. You look like you're having fun. This party's okay, but I really wish I could do some whippets. Okay, yeah, I used to sell those. Hmm, speaking of this song, I wonder if there's a way to change it literally anything else so whippets if anybody that has no idea what whippets are i used to sell whippets back in the day whippets are like uh, whipped cream dude and yeah yeah i'm not gonna describe it but just look it up whippets anyways um i used to sell the chargers in, in the in the canisters for them. um are you in third grade okay that is not what third graders do but i i i i feel entitled to ask the question Hmm, I'll see what I can do. What's in this in no, that's not we just met the lady. No, 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 no I guess insult her or ask her what's in it for me that That I don't want to insult her. Let's ask her what's in it for me if I can get you some whippets Well, I get kind of crazy on whippets if you like my dance moves now. You haven't seen anything yet Okay, all right, honestly, I don't like your dance moves. I don't even like know what you're doing here uh, What the F is a whippet? Uh, so you like helping people? Uh, what do you do for work? For anybody that doesn't know what a whippet is, I'll go ahead and just let her, I guess, try to describe it to us. A whippet is the actor process of inhaling nitrous oxide from small compressed canisters or compressed cans of whipped cream to obtain a momentary high. There you go. Now you know. <laughs> oh, okay, that response seemed quite un uncharacteristic of you. Uh, be honest, you just... Be honest, you just Peter Northed your intellectual load for the light, didn't you? Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, that response, response seemed quite unca- Both of these just sound terrible. Let's- let's- That wasn't a very nice thing to say. I agree! Yeah, my bad. Holy hell, where did you come from, Mr. Brazzers t-shirts? Um... Right, so she wants some- she wants some whip it. Hello. I definitely didn't fart. So if you smell anything, no, it's definitely not me. Who the hell I says that? More people were dancing. I love dancing so much. Everybody pretty I much hates Patrick. I don't even know. To dance all night. I didn't even know he got invited. Out. Okay, what? wait. Patrick, you just can't say that shit. We're more than just that. Fuck, man. Okay, there's so much going on. Patrick? So it seems like nobody likes Patrick, but apparently we are like overhearing an argument right now. The, huh? I meant the whole truth about my sight and how it can liberate. Aw, oh, man brought not that women are holes. I mean, they have them. Now, this is getting good. Yo, he got slapped. Did he get hit with the wine bottle? Yo, he got hit again? Derek, any, no, this is not funny, Derek. F, that was intense. Looks like they need a moment to chill. I guess so. When the mood strikes me and the circumstances are just right, I have no problems tripping down. Okay, let's just walk away. This Legends is. Legends tell of an awesome bra who managed to hide alcohol all I, around the house. I need to get the hell out of the living room. Amy, is this you? Hello, Amy. Amy, inspect Amy. Amy's pretty new to this area. I don't think she knows many people here at the party. Okay. Oh, hey. Oh, I'm hey. Amy. How you doing? Uh, hey, Amy. It's nice to meet you. I heard you stubbed your foot or something earlier on the on the couch. Uh, how you doing? Why, thank you. Yeah. The pleasure's all mine. Very well. I lost my phone number. Uh, can I have yours? That's pretty funny. <laughs> you look pretty, uh, is this pensive? What's on your mind? 
Hey, just want to chill? Up for a change of scenery? Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, what's on your mind? Let's ask her what's on her mind, I guess. Oh, yeah, I guess I have been kind of spacing out. Well, right. it's just that I'm new in town and I'm trying to join a sorority. They got me doing a scavenger hunt as an initiation. It's due tomorrow and I don't have a lot of the items still. I'm thinking about maybe leaving the party and seeing if I can finish it up. A lot of the items on the list are kind of, well, embarrassing to say the least. And I don't know too many people here that well. Okay, well, the sorority is like asking you to go on a, <laughs> on a, on a scavenger hunt. I feel like that's pretty mild for a sorority. No, F that, F that shit. I hate scavenger hunts. Good luck. I could help you out. I'm awesome at finding things. Yeah, let's, let's, let's put our hand in the, in the cookie jar here. Oh, wow. Okay, then. Yeah. Maybe I'll stick around for a bit and see what we can get accomplished. Okay. Thank you. Right. So what are you actually uh, looking for? It's about how Nothing. <laughs> uh, who the hell are you? Jesus Christ. Um, no. Okay. Uh, excuse me, Amy. Can we talk one more time? Hello again. Hello again. I lost my phone. Let me take a crack at one of those scavenger list items. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. The first item I don't have is... Oh, gosh. Somebody's expired credit card. What the hell? It can't be mine. See why I can't ask these people I just met? Things get much worse going forward, too. No, I, 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 yeah, that's a little weird. Leave it to me. I'll find somebody's expired credit card at this strange house that I feel like there will be a murder later on. Let's go into this room and see what's happening over here. But I gotta wipe it all down first. It's probably pretty sticky. Excuse me, what? Why are pickup lines even a thing? I, Do they even ever work on anybody? Uh... Get to know a girl first. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Anybody who knows me knows my sister and I don't get along. Okay. Tell me I'm prettier than her if you want to make my day. You want into our gang, dude? What are you talking about? We In don't drink. We don't eat gluten. Come on, dude. We have jackets and everything. <laughs> Welcome to my gang. I bet you have a bunch of Coronas to, to give away. Possibly. That's a room with a clip apocalypse setting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Probably effectively use it as a defibrillator. Lady. Or taser. Lady. Or if you're as freaky as she is, a whisk for your morning eggs. Lady. It's not that Stop you talking. guys have to be complete. Frank is an a-hole and oh it's god, he has a short temper. Of course he does. He seems dumb, like dude. it. Uh, so this is Wait, Frank, you're not right? Drunk, are you? I'm not drunk. Uh, no, I am not drunk. I'm completely sober. Good. I'm straight edge. I oh. can't stand assholes who get drunk at parties. Oh, all right. I feel it's like my civic duty to beat the ever-loving shit out of anybody I see with a drink. Why come to a party? Your contribution helps make this world better. Your contribution's actual jack shit. The logic behind it, they mean, like, what do you think? We're all gonna come over to somebody's house sober, playing ping pong in the backyard? No. No. Right, sure it does. I'm gonna go uh, over there. Okay, note to self, I may be a, a statistic, may become a statistic I if I touch anything with an ABV higher than than water tonight. What a great party. Oh, yeah, I know, right? Okay, in there, the smell okay lady, you have a lot to say. Let's, let's talk to you. You have that so much to say. It's chances, Ashley, Madison's sister. She looks kind of upset. Did I do something to do that? No, I don't think we did. Hi, I'm Ashley. Hi, how I'm you Madison's doing? Madison's sister. Right, okay. Nice I, to meet you. It's, 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 it's great to meet you, but my patience is running already thin, and I haven't even introduced myself to you. Ashley, Ashley, so are you the co-host of this party? Well, I doubt Madison would ever call me that. Ah, uh, because you were that. Too, so call it what you want. Very well. Co-host it is then, since, you know, Madison is all, you know, whatever it is. <laughs> You're sweet. I'm here if you have any questions about the crowd, including yours truly. As co-host of this evening, I'd be super bummed if you felt left out or whatever. Right, okay, so if you are Madison's, so Mad this is Madison's house. Do you live here? Are you a, are you a tenant? Do you guys do you guys room together? I don't know what's happening. Tell me about the guest of the evening. Yes, tell me about the guest tonight. We've got all sorts here. I can't lie. Most of these folks are Madison's friends. Okay. They've taken me into their group too, which I'm sure Madison just hates. But yeah, like everyone's pretty cool, except for Frank. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. I I, I guess we'll come back to you here later. There's a lot going. There's a lot of tension in this room that I'm super uncomfortable to be around. Uh, this girl's still like dropping it. Yeah, good for her. What the heck is in here? Is this a garage? This is a garage. This is a uh, nippy dicks chili sticks. Okay, what? Whoops. <laughs> there's the beer pong, dude. <laughs> okay. Uh. I'm moving the camera super fast. I apologize. I apologize. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I forgot what my parents. No, no, no. Hey, Come talk. Back up. 
Whew. Almost had to go Shaolin Temple style on the motherfucker. You My should God. never approach a stranger from behind like that. Sensei Frank's lesson number one. <sighs> I don't anyway, disagree with you. I'm Leah. I'm sorry. Uh, all right, noted. Uh, repeat the Frank part again. Sensei Frank, you know the big bald guy who sits downstairs holding down the fort? Yeah, the guy behind the guy you? Who whistles show tunes when nobody's around? Yeah. Oh, I know Frank. I just had no idea he was a senpai. Sensei, sorry. Oh, all right then. Well, speaking of, I gotta hit up Frank real quick. He's got me on patrol, and I gotta go report to him on five minute increments. Five minute increments? It is, I left my phone at the gym, so I've been counting in my head. It's been exactly five minutes, or like a lot longer than that. Okay, see Leah. Is that her name, Leia? Leah? Somebody do Leah? something about how drunk Patrick is. Whoa! I'm pretty sure he's gone at this point. Uh oh. There Earlier, he asked me if I knew where his pants were. Uh, he's wearing them. Okay, so Patrick's totally gone. He's wasted already. It's like possibly 7:30 p.m. He's already gonna destroy this party. Damn him. Is there anything in the fridge? So you've interacted with an item. You're really going places. Thank you. I appreciate that. Using the radio, you can uh, inspect an item for more info and sometimes clues. You can also take the item into your inventory. All right. That's the I key by default. Use it with an item from your inventory and in some cases do special super secret stuff. Okay. Uh, many items can also be grabbed. Right mouse by default. Uh, you can then drop these items or throw them. Pay attention to character dialogue, opportunity window info, uh, inspect text, and more to get the most out of your items you could find. And hoard them into a corner, whatever later. Okay. Uh, doors are also items. Whoa. <laughs> in case it isn't obvious, these can block a character's line of sight and with the right item in your possession, even block them from reaching your, you entirely. That can be a good or bad thing. You'll have to decide that on your own. NPCs can also lock doors from the inside and will sometimes prevent you from unlocking them. In such cases, you'll have to take other actions. Yeah, open the door again. I'm up to benching an old All right, let's open this up. What do we have here? Oh my God. You guys have suggested I stay in the garage for most of the party, so not to frighten the guests. God, how I love my darling sister. You guys have a very depressing, uh, like, situation going on here. Like, one of my okay, I, I think I have an idea what to do with the chocolate syrup, the chicken nuggets, no idea. The spuds, no idea. The eggs, maybe. The cucumber in the sausage. I can't stand. The what is this called? The flight max? I no. This is this is terrible. Close this. There might be something I I need to get in there later, but right now it's just it's not going. You know cryptocurrency? Oh god, you have your own coin? Dude coin. The dude coin? Oh yo yo. It's gonna be the next biggest thing. It's not gonna be the next biggest thing. Buy into it now before it blows up. I will not do that. Anybody want to do a pizza? Inspect. It's empty, lame. I suppose if it gathered up all the horrid, horrid, sludgy bits stuck to the bottom of the box, I could merge them together to form one last piece or not. Oh god, that's disgusting. I wish you'd stop worrying. Who are these people? There's not a single girl that wouldn't trade tits with her. Brittany, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who are oh, you? I'm not shy at all. One uh, time, I fucked oh, yeah, yeah. a car full of Rachel. Priests. Okay, Rachel's pretty cool. I heard she's friends with some really prestigious faces, people like Vicky Vixen. The Let's talk hey, to this person. Uh, I'm Rachel. Oh, hello, Rachel. Sorry if you just saw me swat that guy. Swat that guy? I promise you, oh, yeah, I'm you're not the... a giant bitch. I just, uh, I can't even get into it. Okay, you're the person that slapped Patrick across the face. It's cool, but uh, why'd you get all Jerry Springer on him? Have you not heard anything <laughs> about Patrick before tonight? No, I don't know who the no? hell he is. No, Do I, I don't. Website, Neighborhood Watch? I have no idea what the website Neighborhood Watch is. Guess I'll just have to take your word on that. Just stay away from that chemical burn of a person over there. Okay. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to figure out how I can get my alcohol back from a different guy who, <laughs> funny story, decided to confiscate all the alcohol from a party. That sounds like Frank. Uh, good luck with that. Just a lucky bastard. Who that sounds like Frank. Uh, excuse me, who are you? Are you Madison? At the end of the week. Even be That's Madison. Girl. This is her party. I probably shouldn't be a dick to her if I want to stay. Madison, can I talk to you? Patrick, I can't get to the fucking booze with Frank. Oh, sorry. I'm not Patrick. You're my cousin. Oh, you're Patrick's Derek's your cousin? friend, right? Hey, I'm Madison. This is, uh, my party. This is fantastic. Okay, yeah, I am Derek's friend, but okay, I, I see what's going on oh, here. yeah, don't mention it. Derek was all, hey, I have this friend who doesn't know anybody because he just moved here, and I promise he's not a dick. That's me. And Derek and I are kind of in the middle of this... 
it doesn't matter. Yeah. I didn't want to make things weirder, so I was like, sure, bring your friend. So yeah, I'm glad you could come. Unless you guys are breaking apart. I'm sorry. Am I am I reading that wrong? Okay, yeah. I'm so I'm I'm, I'm a total afterthought then, right? Yeah. I'm sorry. That was rude. My head is everywhere. It's fine. You know that feeling when you love hosting parties until you're actually in the middle of hosting one? Never hosted one remember, in my life. People are the worst, and your cousin has a serious alcohol problem, and that you definitely should have brought more food. Yeah, you're doing just fine. We'll just give her that. You're doing just fine. That's a cool thing to say. You're Even welcome. If you are just trying to win brownie points. That's always been such a weird phrase to me, brownie points. Why would I want to? What the hell are those anyway? Yeah, I don't need any brownies from you. Sorry, it's hard. Or it's how bakers keep score. I like that. I'm guessing you were never a Girl Scout. No, let's not say that. Ha ha ha. That was a really bad dad joke, but I appreciate the effort. Oh my god, anyway, did I really just say that? It was good talking to you <laughs> and meeting you. I gotta get back to the party, but come find me later and we can get to know each other some more. Yeah. Maybe you take some pics for my gram? Sure, yeah. Oh, and don't forget to mingle. There are some awesome people here. I'm trying to introduce myself and try to talk to everyone and build a rapport with everyone. Yeah, most definitely. I'm trying to just see everybody. That was very good. Uh, Derek, I will like shut this for you, my man, so you can get through. There you go. <laughs> Uh, okay, can we go outside? Oh, is it already open? Okay, walk out. So who do we have out here? We have a jacuzzi. Very nice. We have flamingos. We have Patrick by the fire. Probably the most dangerous thing in this game already. Uh, excuse me. Hello. How are you? Who are you? You look like a freaking child. Are you even allowed to be here? You're Catherine? Uh, they say Catherine always got the phone in her hand. They also say she's smart as shit. They also say she could be a cold bitch. Right. Um, whoa, whoa. Okay, hello. You are like... Are you hello? Did you need something? Yeah, I could use a drink. Want to grab me? Want me to grab you one? Okay, I feel like we use the word need outside of its intended purposes. We could be kind of like that. I like your glasses. They make you look smart. Always a that's not like that that feels like a low key insult. Uh they make you look smart. Uh I feel like um I feel like she's the kind of girl that would be like, oh yeah, I feel like we use the word need outside of its intended purposes. Like, I feel like she she would it, it, she would charm that. Okay, that she was did. She actually liked that. slightly philosophical. You might actually have a brain hiding in there somewhere. Yeah, I feel like I, I can see this kind of where this can go. I notice you keep looking at your phone. Is everything all right? Yeah, it's my boyfriend. He's oh. supposed to meet me here, but he's being a dick. Right, all right. So your boyfriend's not here. Why is your boyfriend not here? Is he a detective? Your boyfriend is a detective? That's so cool. What? <laughs> Who would ever be a dick to you, ever? That's actually kind of sweet. I wish he felt the same way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what do you think of... Okay, like, let's not start doing the little b gossiping. We're, we're just we're just here. Um, for being a dick, that boyfriend sure has you plastered to your phone. That's a little bit like going in detail there, but I'm, I'm worth it. Let's go. I'm worth hitting the shot here. All right. I admit it's a little more complicated than my boyfriend just being a dick. Okay. He's really, I'm here to listen. Really into biking everywhere as a couple. And before you ask, no, not Harleys and hotties on highways, more like Schwinn's in sweaty crotches on sidewalks. What the hell did you just say to me? Okay, so he's a bicycle guy, not a Harley guy. Less gas emissions, more ass exertion, exer exertions. <laughs> Look, I'll be the first to say it. I don't think I should be covered in sweat just so our planet can prolong its inevitable demise by a few measly minutes. If my projections are correct, we'll be colonizing Mars by 2041 anyway. And on Mars, I won't have to call anybody my spandex daddy. Oh my god. Oh yeah. He wears one of those stupid, stretchy, full body speed suits anytime we hit the road. He's just praying that someone asks him about it so he can drawl on about his bike. As we were getting geared up tonight, I just couldn't deal. <sighs> just the way the spandex morphed around his ass crack. Uh. We got in a huge fight. I put on normal people clothes and I took a ride share over here. Let me ask you a question. How the hell did you end up with this guy? <laughs> Couples fight. Hopefully things will work out. Well, the fight wasn't the worst part. Oh, okay. This is a two-part bummer. Oh. But yeah, thanks. Too fast, too bum. What's part, what's part two, please? Ugh, how about this? If you can get me something to drink, 
I'd be glad to share more. Ah, all right, all right, all right. I feel ya. I feel ya. All right, that's an opportunity for us. Yeah, learn more. What the hell do you want? Is your name Rachel again? I forgot your name. I mean, you. I'm much more into electronica or even chill step music. It's right. easy to code too. Okay, I'm just gonna walk away. Yeah, getting this shit face drug is pretty much normal for Patrick. Okay. There's nothing wrong with. I feel like we need to talk to Patrick. Let's go. Let's go talk to our buddy Derek. Hey, Derek. Uh, is everything going How's all right, going, man? Uh, what's it? What's Amy's deal? Uh, she's kind of cute. You and Madison, anything ever happened there? Yo, bring up the spicy stuff. What? You must be out of your mind. No, man. I'm not out of my mind. We're just friends. Just friends. All right, all right. You tell me later. Very convinced, Derek. Maybe I'm onto something here. Yeah, 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 hey, yeah, yeah. How's it going, buddy? How long? Uh, how long have we been friends? I feel like I've known you forever. You can say that again. We've been kicking it since high school, man. That doesn't feel that long. <laughs> high school. What was that last year? Shit, that's like an eternity ago. Yeah, it's definitely an undefined amount of time ago. What with us trying to appeal to a large audience in between the ages of 18 and 35, crazy times back then, whenever that might have been. How the... How old are we? We sure we're wild? Man, we gotta catch up when you get a chance. I've been telling all my friends about our crazy days. At this point, they probably know our famous stories just as well as you and I do. Hey, if you ever find yourself twiddling your thumbs, grab a couple of beers and come get me. Yeah, absolutely. We'll take a walk down memory lane. <laughs> More like a drunken stumble down Mistake Avenue. That sounds good. Now I feel like I we're- I hope you still remember all the good times we used to have. After that summer you spent as a ball sweeper at the batting cages, <laughs> Dude, you took so many baseballs to the cranium. <laughs> we were all surprised you graduated. Oh, but there you were, rolling across the stage in that wheelchair of yours that you only had to use for like six months tops. Oh my God. You barely ever drool anymore. Yeah, my brain worked good now. Well, let's keep it that way. I saw you talking to Frank earlier. We did. But you better watch yourself at all times. Frank's crafty, and he's got a way of taking good brains and making them all contused and shit. You're right. And his uh, protege Leia, her too. I'd steer clear if I were you. I feel oh, like man. I feel like Leia. You. Yeah, I feel like Leia is wrapped around his finger. Thanks for the heads up. Peace out. Hmm. And now that I think about it, I don't remember most of the last ten years. Some might call that a problem. I call it a challenge. Got to find out who knows stories about me and get a refresher. Um, I will say though, um, what are we like thirty years old and we're hanging out with a bunch of college girls? Like, aren't we the problem in this party? <laughs> are we the problem? I feel like we're the problem now. Um, I seriously have half of them. Yo, my man. Art room and just Patrick, you you do have the alcohol, you do have the wine bottle. You probably know where the alcohol is at. I'm gonna have to have a conversation with you. Good for the canvases, can it? Come over here. Keep walking. I don't want to hear what they have to say. Fuck you. Oh, what? Sorry, not you. Oh, okay. Sir, let's talk. We haven't talked yet. Oh, oh, raw. Yeah. You finally arrived. Yeah. I've been waiting since. Wait. You're not that guy I met at the bus stop? No. Sorry, I'm seeing double. You're a new bra. What's up? I'm Patrick, a.k.a. Party Pat, a.k.a. Pat the Frat, a.k.a. Patty Mayonnaise. Don't ever speak to me again. You got the shit slapped out of you. What is this about? Yeah, that was something else. That Rachel, she's a firecracker. <laughs> it was cool how she did that where people could see. I'm a broadvocate for transparency. <laughs> One of these days, long after we've settled our differences, her and I will look back on this night and laugh. No, no, I don't think so. What's the problem with you two, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm, I should probably talk to somebody about it. That seems like a pushover. Said, Take advice when it's Still not given. sure what Rachel's that beef is with him was? Just because he lives here doesn't mean he's your father. Ah, Rachel's Krav Maga training has really paid off because this pain is unreal. I don't know what you're Before saying. I go saying anything, I gotta find something to make this pain go away. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can help you out, my man, I guess. My bra coming through in the clutch. Yeah, yeah. If you see some pain meds rolling around somewhere, grab them for me. Any will do, probably. It's just science. Anything that comes in pill form will automatically make you feel better with no other consequences whatsoever. I'll uh, hold on to this wine so I'll have something to wash it down with. No, you hand over the wine, I get you the illegal drug. Uh, you're wrong on all counts, but I'll help you. <laughs> I like the fact that we call them out. We say, you know what, you're actually wrong, but we'll help you regardless. Okay, let's, let's, let's take an explore upstairs. Is there anything in this closet? Open? Bathroom door? I would have actually- Oh, hey! Hey, that, that's me! Hey! How you doing, handsome? 
Um, that would have sucked if someone was actually in the bathroom, though. What about in here? Is there anything in here? I don't want to go that way. I'm going to go upstairs. I know I might shouldn't. All right, let's go upstairs. Hello? Wow, look at this room. This is actually really cool. Who's ever bedroom this is? Good for them. It's 8.32. I knew it was early. <laughs> sunglasses. Uh, no, we don't need to take any sunglasses. A actual camera possibly might be good. There I am again. Um, a, uh, a molecule used with a camera? No, no, no. Hang on a sec. Let's see. Inspect. It looks like one of Madison's school books. It seems like there's something dressed in, depressed into the book cover. Almost like somebody wrote something on top of it. I can't quite make it out what it says. Otherwise known as putting tiny things in your mouth and pretending you love it. You ain't got no time for that. Right. What is this? Deep psychology. Okay. Open nightstand. Anything in the nightstand. Nothing in the nightstand. I feel terrible that I'm going through people's nightstands. Open up the other nightstand. Nothing in there. Uh, lay down. This particular this particular item is a bed. You knew that already, right? Anyway, beds are often where the magic actually happens. Not like the children's magic show. Adult magic. Moist magic. Just, <laughs> just remember, if a character is laying on a bed that can prevent other characters from also using that spot on the bed, try to shoo them away using dialogue or other means. Moist means... These tutorials are cursed. <laughs> okay, let's not lay down. Let's not be the weird guy. Open up the bedroom closet. Oh, oh, some, you know what? I feel like we should be closing this. Nobody should be, oh, 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 inspect. Natty Light, the broke college student's drink of choice. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there we go. We got some alcohol. We found some alcohol for some, for some people. Very well. Uh, let's open this. What is that? Oh, is that the pain meds? These got nothing of a Captain's Ralph Cologne clear all aboard for Brown Town. That's laxatives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually laxatives. That is a uh, the Vibratron 3000. I will take it for research purposes. Uh, Vibrator go bird. Didn't you know? You can inspect and then in in interact with this in your inventory to uh, well, burr, burr, burr. People at the right time might just lead to helpful reactions. Keyword might. I like the narration in this game. Pretty good, yeah? Okay, well, this was this has been successful. What is that? Nothing? Okay. I can have the crosshair. I, I, I like the crosshair. Let's do the crosshair. Yeah, give me a crosshair. Anything in the bathroom here? Uh, what the heck is that down there? What is that? Gut grip? Gut grip. The back of the bottle reads gut grip because you already have enough unexpected... Is that more laxative? <laughs> um, oh my god. What is this? Somebody's phone? Uh-oh. Madison's phone? Inspect? Uh, it's probably Madison's phone. She must have forgotten it by the sink. Calendar? Phone locked. Enter password. Voicemail? Phone lock. Oh, so I would have to have a, a password with it. Let's take it. Let's take it. Return her Madison or crack the code. I feel like returning her, um, her, her phone would probably be a best idea. It's blue hair dye. Interesting. Maybe Madison has Harry, Harley Quinn for Halloween. That would be hot. Okay, let's... One thing at a time here. Can we open those? No? Alright, so we are just, like, chilling, dude. Can we change the TV? No? Finding Nemo's on the TV? Uh-oh, what's going on up here? Ooh, look at that. Nice. When I was in the garage, I saw the coolest little penguin bra just chilling in there. Bare bedroom? Deep into his eyes, and I think he shared a vision of himself. Oh, there's a lock. There's a there's a there's a lock on the on the door. A small plateau underneath. Oh my God! There's somebody's somebody's lock here. There must be something in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open up this. I'll let Patrick talk. In the meantime, I'll just go ahead and do my thing in here. <laughs> I'll look around, see if I can find some spicy stuff. There's a bunk bed in here for whatever reason. I don't know who actually lives in here. Uh oh. What just happened? I can't believe that Rachel knows Vicky Vixen. The Vicky Vixen. Who's the Vicky? Who's Legends the? Legends tell of an awesome bra who managed to hide alcohol all around the house. Hey, Madison. From Frank's bra. I would like to give you a phone. Legends. OMG, you found my phone. Yeah. Thanks so much. Yeah, so is there a reward for returning your phone? I feel like maybe I kiss or something is in order here. Hi, aren't you a bold one? I suppose you did sort of save the day. I'll tell you what. Help me play a prank on my sister, and there might be more than just a kiss waiting for you when we're done, if you catch my drift. 
First of all, that is extremely generous. <laughs> Holy crap, I did not expect that. Second of all, what would you like to do about this prank? I don't know about this. Tell me more. Okay, so here's the deal. I already accidentally spilled like some that. beer all over Ashley. I locked my clothes away so she can't find something else to wear. My plan is to first get her to think her only option is to strip down and wash her clothes. Oh god. Once we have her clothes in the washer, then we just need to force her out and parade her around naked to all of the party guests. Talk to Ashley and see if you can get her to trust you enough to take her clothes and wash them. Then figure out a way to get her out of wherever she decides to hide. That doesn't even sound like a prank. That sounds like assault. Got it. Humiliate Ashley or a chance of heart with Ashley. Oh, I don't know how this is going. Hello, who are you? You're Brittany? Hello, Brittany? Brittany's all alone in this room and she looks sad. I wonder if, she, if I can cheer her up. Would you like some laxative? Oh, hey, I don't believe we've met. I'm Brittany. Hey, hey, are you okay? There's a party going on out there, you know? Oh, yeah, I know. I'm just... Well, it's kind of embarrassing. I just bought this new top and... Right. Well, I've always been endowed with rather large... I understand. Well, you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm just really self-conscious about it. I'm not sure I can bring myself to go out there. Are you kidding? That top looks great on you? Or I didn't even notice... <laughs> Let's not let's not beat around the bush here. Let's say this top looks great on you. Yeah, you're all right. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that makes me feel a little better. Anytime. Uh, so would you like for me to like get you a pair of clothes or wow. something? Wow, uh -oh. I'm impressed. A little bird told me you've chatted it up with every single person in attendance to my little shindig. I have. You're a pretty sociable dude, huh? I am. A people person. That really makes me wonder what your sky animal would be. A friggin' owl, dude. My head would go in a full 360 degrees. That's what that would mean. You don't know? Well, I guess it is a pretty well-kept secret. Sky animal tracking is the crazy old study of reading the sky and connecting with the animal that you see in the clouds or the stars. Astrology. It's like astrology and horoscopes and all that, but right. way cooler. Because it was discovered by a real Native American tribe, so you know it's totally legit. My sky animal helps me keep cool on nights like tonight when I'm constantly on the brink of ripping my hair out. I have so many questions. Well, ask away. <laughs> I'm pretty much an expert on all this stuff. Who thought about, who, who taught you about sky animals? <sighs> he goes by many names. The Howling Wolf. I know him as Howling Wolf. Right. I've only convened with him once, but it was the most enlightening experience of my life. Okay. Ashley and I were boarding the bus out of Nevada, leaving that old life behind for good. What and old life? There, sitting among the meth addicts and coked out gamblers, yeah. was Howling Wolf. Well, he looked a lot like the other meth addicts, but there was just this glow about him. I knew he wasn't just a meth addict. Well, what happened? Well, I took the seat next to him, because it was the only seat available, and he right. immediately went into this tirade, telling me all about these visions he was having, and his upcoming court cases, and how he was on the lam, and I just thought, wow. And then, like a beautiful revelation, he blurted, the sky is full of animals. Deep, right? No. So I spent the next two hours listening to Howling Wolf explain this magical craft. It was so powerful, I could even feel this, you know warmth rising through the bus seats and into my body it was incredible actual warm wet energy was coming from his seat and onto mine are you sure it wasn't uh oh you know it i had to of course prove i was worthy of connecting with my sky animal oh god which wasn't that hard actually yeah all right Howling Wolf said my mind was prepared, but I needed to give him $200 to appease the Great Space Tool Shed where all the sky animals live. I paid my dues, and next thing you know, I was meeting my very own sky animal. L listen. Ooh, it gives me goosebumps just thinking about it. You're Rachel, right? I thought very highly of you, but how dare you fall trap of, like, this ridiculousness? So what is your sky animal after all for spending $200? I suppose someone like you couldn't just look at me and tell me what my sky animal is. No, I, I honestly my can't. enlightened mind, it's so obvious. My sky animal is the honored dumpster raccoon. 
resourceful, what? crafty, always ready to defend oh, what's theirs. No. It's totally me. You spent $200 for the guy to tell you you were a dumpster raccoon and you believe it? Do you really believe this nonsense? I think I hear Derek calling me. I'll talk to you later, Madison. Sorry, your name's Madison, not Rachel. How dare I? Oh my God, Derek, help me, buddy. That was, that was painful. That was absolutely painful. Yo, there's a computer here that we could probably get some spicy stuff out of. I'm surprised no fights have broken out yet. The mix of people here is... No. Interesting, you don't, to say the least. This might be your house, but you don't deserve to talk anymore. so much, man. My man, it's gonna be okay. But guys, that's where we're gonna stop it in today's video of House Party. If you guys wanna see another day of House Party, let me know, comment down below, hit the like button, and I'll be glad to show you some more of House Party. Anyways, thank you guys so much, and thank you again for Catapult for sponsoring this video, and I will see you guys in the next video, wherever that may be, and do as always, take care. She said we better of his best friends. Who was the best friend? Can't let me know what it mean to be a best friend. That mean on the next man.